Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Why Did I Subscribe to this YouTube channel? Well, before you um, unsubscribe or click off this video, just wait. I know you saw the thumbnail, I know you saw the title, and you're thinking, this girl has issues. And you'd be correct, I do have issues. W Cosmo, I got issues. If anyone is new, hi, my name is Omalade and I am a full-time bar. <laughs> Today we are going to be painting Nicki Minaj because she's currently on hiatus and the barbs are bored. We need something new to do. So this is what we're going to be doing today. So a big part of barb history is this picture. It makes the rounds on Twitter every couple of months and it's an alleged fan art of Nicki. Everyone makes fun of it when they see it and you know, I don't think it's that bad. So today I'm going to recreate it in my own style and using watercolors. I'm not really sure how old this masterpiece is, but I'm going to try and bring it into 2021 and really do it justice. Without further ado, let's get into the painting and make sure to like and subscribe and watch until the end to see the final product. As you can see, we are off to an amazing start. So let's get into it. This is me sketching. This might have been the hardest part of this whole process, especially drawing the facial features. Drawing that nose almost made me give up, but I stuck through it. As you can see, the technique I was using was called praying to Jesus and hoping for the best. Um, at this point, I was also deciding on a color scheme. The original picture is kind of like a black and white with some red on the hair and lips. And yeah, why does that picture make her look so angry? I don't know. That looks like Roman, not Nikki, but anyway. So instead of black and white, I thought I would go with half pink and half blonde hair, but giving very much, you know, 2017 VMAs. And then I thought, should I do the choker as well? But then I realized my artistic ability and who the hell I was. So we are not doing the choker today. And for her outfit, I kind of wanted to keep the original white as per the reference image, but I was not stuck on that idea. I, could, I was gonna see how I felt when I actually got into the painting part. And yeah, so I just continued to sketch. I am taking this whole thing very seriously and you know, it might, who knows what it might lead to. What do we think? Now onto the painting. So some of you are probably wondering what gives you the right to paint Onika Tanya Mirage and I'll get back to you with that answer. Who says I need to have the right though? If lockdown has taught me anything, all you need is a paintbrush and some delusion and you're on your way. So the closest I got to pursuing art was in secondary school and that experience pretty much scarred me. You know what, let's get into it. But first, let's just take a moment to take in the hair. It took me a while to find the right shade of pink, but you know, I got there in the end. Anyway, so when I was a little baby 11 year old, I started high school. For any Americans confused, high school is six years in the UK or at least in Scotland. So anyway, here I am with my four foot nine self walking up to redacted school to learn. And when you're a first year, you get to try a bunch of different subjects out. So, you know, you get your maths, English, sciences, languages, and of course, art. I don't remember much of the art class itself, but I remember in our first week, we got given homework. And I'm sure we got the full week to do the homework. We had to draw something, I can't remember, I think it was glass bottles in this tiny pink notebook. Nothing crazy. So I get home and we have a week to do this homework. So of course I start doing it that same night. A little sketching here, maybe some shading there. How hard can it be? Well, turns out it can be really hard. It shouldn't have taken more than 10 to 20 minutes, but it took what felt like an hour. And I tried, I really, really tried. You know when you try something so hard and keep failing and then your face gets really hot and then you're holding in tears? Yeah, it was, it was that hard. And to make it worse, I draw these bottles and they look so bad and then I redraw them again on the same piece of paper. So it got to attempt, I don't know, 10 at this point and the paper is looking like an oil spill. But I keep trying, I just, I just keep trying. I don't know why I didn't use a new page, but like I said, traumatized. Eventually I dropped something that I was pretty proud of and it wasn't going to be the best in the class, but it was, it was my best. And it's the taking part that counts at the end of the day. 
So homework day rolls around. I woke up to school in my gray feelers, four foot ten, really feeling myself. And we hand in our homework, teacher marks them, and the rest of the class is fine. Then we get our homework back, and I see in bright red pen a D. Not A D, but the letter D. And I was like, wow, okay, that that's fine. Keep in mind, just came from primary school where we weren't out here getting A's, B's, C's, and D's. We just got pass or fail or a percentage pretty bummed i got a d but not the end of the world but then my art teacher decides to go over my work with me and says verbatim i can tell you didn't put in that much effort and i was like <laughs> didn't put in that much what do you not see the eraser marks do you not see the imprint left by my tears as soon as i got the chance i dropped art and never went back Sure, she was probably right that homework was mediocre, but I was 11 years old. Anyway, that's enough child trauma for one day. Moral of the story is positive reinforcement can go a long way. So make sure to leave a positive comment and like and subscribe and yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually really love art now because I don't take it seriously. It's meant to be fun. I mean, look at the video you're watching. So shout out to my art teacher who crushed my little 4 for 11 dreams. Shout out to Miss You Know Who You Are. Uh, guys, what do you think of the painting so far? What's your favorite part? I am really loving the hair and lip combo. I think I made the right decision doing the half blonde and half pink. It's just, it's iconic. I mean, I don't want to call it a masterpiece. I'm not that cocky, but it may or may not be the best thing I've ever painted. It's a sort of understated impressionist piece conveying the duality of power and humility. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was going for. I don't know if you guys can tell that, but that's really what I was going for. To get into the zone for today, I had to dress the part. So I asked myself, what would an artist wear? And that turned out to be whatever this is. So we have an exercise top with some grey three quarter joggers but they don't really look three quarters but they're also not long enough to be full length either so they're kind of just in the middle this outfit is paired with some fluffy socks to give the appearance of comfort as my brain struggles to paint what my hands struggle to paint what my brain connection yeah and then i threw in a scarf because why not and lastly i had to throw in my wattpad messy bun because what is an artist without her messy bun this outfit itself is truly a piece of art But let's get back to this painting. It's really coming together. This is not delusion. Like, I see it. Like, I can see Nikki. Can you guys see Nikki? Like, be brutally honest. I know I just told you that really sad story about me in art class, but I promise I can take criticism. I'm seeing a little bit of Barbie coming through. Like, a little bit of, you know, just a little bit of. You know, art is subjective at the end of the day. So please feel free to lie to me in the comments. Just really boost my ego and just give me the confidence to make even more videos like this because this was actually really fun to do. Sorry, sometimes I get really emotional when I create a beautiful work of art. Yeah, that's what this is. I'm sorry, this looks so good. Like, I I did not come to play today. There was a rocky moment back there with the skin tone, but look, I, I fixed it. Like, I got it together. I mean, Painted Nikki really is serving. She really said, my body is a work of art. He eaten this Van Gogh. What do you guys want me to paint next? I mean, it's kind of hard being a creative genius, but someone's got to do it. As a Nigerian, we are known to be really, really humble. So I'm not gonna sit here and say this is the best Nikki fan art to exist, but if you guys feel that way, then it is what it is. So everyone just needs to sit back and observe the excellence that they're witnessing today on this YouTube channel and enjoy the rest of the video.
and we're done <laughs> Guys, I'm super proud of what we did today. I made a piece of art, you made it through this video, so great job all around. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I wish I could tell you what is coming next to this channel, but I have no idea what I'm doing. Make sure to stream a Nikki song today, and I'll see you guys next time.